Hi, this is Howie with Get Synced. Today I'm going to show you how to share your calendar with other people in your organization. One way to share your calendar is to log into your Get Synced hosted Karyo Connect webmail. A lot of people forget that webmail is actually a really great place to manage the various features of your account. From your webmail calendar, position your mouse just to the right of your name. Click the down arrow and select Sharing. Click the plus button and then type the name or email address of the person you want to share with. Also note that you have the option of giving this person either read-only access or the ability to edit your calendar. When finished, click Save. If you're on a Mac, another place where you can set up sharing is from your Mac's calendar app. On the left side of your calendar, mouse over the calendar that you want to share. Click the share symbol that appears and a small window will pop up next to your calendar. Type in the name or email address of the person you want to share with. Here, you can also give this person read-only access or the ability to edit your calendar. Mac users running OS X Mountain Lion or above will see a Join Calendar invitation at the right side of the screen. When they see this, they should click Join. After a few seconds, your calendar will appear along the left side of their calendar app. To load shared calendars in Outlook 2011, click the File menu and then select Open and then Other Users folder. Type in the username or email address of the other user whose calendar you need to access. Also notice that you can use this same procedure to access another user's shared address book or inbox. Click OK. Now, click the user's name from the list that appears and then click Select. After a few seconds, the user's calendar will load. To load a shared calendar from Outlook on Windows, click File and then click Account Settings. In the Account Settings window, double-click your Get Synced hosted account. In the Karyo Outlook Connector window, click on Other Mailboxes. Click Add, then type the email address or username of the person whose calendar you need to access. Click OK, then click OK again. Now click Close. After a few seconds, the other person's shared calendar will appear in Outlook. You can also designate certain people as delegates. Delegates have the ability to act on your behalf. To set up a delegate from Webmail, click your name at the top right of your screen and select Settings. From the left sidebar, click Delegation. Click the plus button under the heading Delegates Who Can Act on My Behalf. Type the name or email address of the person you want to add as a delegate. Note here that you can also give this person access to your inbox. And you can also see who has delegated you as a delegate. When finished, click Save. To load a calendar from another user as a delegate, click the Calendar menu, then select Preferences. Now, click Accounts, and then click the Delegation tab. It may take a few seconds for the other user to appear. When they do, click the option to Show. You will now see this person's calendar loaded on the left side of your calendar app window. If you use Outlook 2011 on Mac, here is how to set up others as delegates and to load calendars that were delegated to you. Click the Outlook menu at the top left of your screen and then click Preferences. Now click the Accounts icon. Select your Get Synced hosted account and then click the Advanced button at the bottom right. Now click the Delegates tab. To designate someone as a delegate, click the plus button under Delegates Who Can Act on My Behalf. Now type in the name or the email address of the other user, and then click Find. Select the person's name, and then click OK. A new window will pop up, and then you can give the user read-only or editor access, and you can also set up access for your inbox and contacts. Click OK when finished.
To load a calendar that was delegated to you, click the plus button under People I'm a Delegate For. Fill in the person's name or email address and then click Find. Select the person's name, then click OK. At the end of this process, Outlook may ask for your password. Fill in your password and then make sure to select the option to remember this password in my keychain. Then click OK. To set up delegate access from Outlook on Windows, click the Karyo Connect tab. Now click Delegation. In the window that appears, click Add under Delegates Who Can Act on My Behalf. Type in the user's email address, then click OK. Here you can also give access to your inbox. Click OK when finished. Here's how to get shared calendars loaded onto your mobile device running ActiveSync or CalDAV. From Webmail, click your name at the top right side of the screen, and then select Settings. Now, click Folders to Sync. You'll see that there are two sections. One is for CalDAV, the other is for ActiveSync. Click the shared calendar that you want to load onto your mobile device, then click Save. If you're not sure whether you're using CalDAV or ActiveSync, just select both. After a few minutes, you'll then see the shared calendar on your device. At Get Synced, we're always happy to help. Please call us or send a support request at GetSync.com.